Hi Dominic, that's a great question and you know there's a lot of people who are working hard to try and understand that um, as uh, when we're building muscle in space if it's different to when you're building muscle back on Earth. So there are still investigations going on to determine if that's the case. Over. Is there a particular area of the planet you always see when you pass across the ascending node and descending node within your orbit around the Earth? Yeah, great question. You know, um, we we pass kind of north 51 degrees latitude and, and south 51 degrees as well. We pass those regularly as we turn from an ascending node into a descending node. So we're always seeing areas like northern Canada, Alaska, the United Kingdom and northern Europe, uh, and also South America, Cape Horn, those kind of areas we see a lot. Over. Take into consideration your family's feelings before going on. Yeah, we discussed it. I mean, all astronauts really discuss this in the family. My family is very supportive of what I'm doing, and I think it's very important to include your family in what you're doing when it's something like a trip to space. Over. What is your hygiene routine on the ISS? Well, we have no showers on board, so we have to wash just using towels and hot water, wet wipes, uh, that kind of thing. And, uh, but we can have a wet shave uh, every day if we like. And you know, we don't really get that dirty up here, only when we do a physical exercise. So we tend to wash after physical exercise. Over. Are you in hospitals in space if the crew medically trained if someone gets sick? Yes, who's all trained to a very high level of first aid. And also uh, myself, Tim Cobra, for example, we're crew medical officers. So we can actually do minor surgery, uh, tooth extraction, dental procedures, that kind of thing. Over. How often do you conduct spacewalks? That was a really good reception of astronaut Tim Peake talking to Booker T. Washington High School, I believe, in Miami, Florida. And it was actually pretty low pass, about 15 degrees up. So it's surprising that I got it so well. I had a lot of difficulty getting the passes, these uh, ARIS school contact ISS passes. I've been looking at different things about which side the ISS is on. Is it uh, west of me or is it east of me? And I really can't see a correlation with which side is on is better. Uh, last time I had a difficult time, or last time I had a really good time compared to other times it was to my east, but this time it was to my west and south and it was really good, so I don't know. But I'm really happy with the result, and I don't care how it worked, <laughs> I'm glad it worked. So um, that's it, I think. Thanks for watching, this is John Brower, KG4AKB 73.